Okay, so today's episode of JavaScript Interview Questions, we're going to be talking about variables and scoping and seeing how well you understand what's happening when you're declaring things and specifically when you're chaining together multiple declarations and assignments. So we have two functions here. They're immediately invoked function expressions, the ifies. And first function is going to run, the second function is going to run. After that happens, I want to know what I have access to. So on the global scope, what am I going to be getting? And what are going to be the values of A, B, X, Y, J, K, R, and S? And JavaScript will also sometimes create your variables as properties on the global scope. So on the window object or the global object, depending on whether you're running this in Node or if you're running this in the browser, in the browser, you'd have this. Global.s would be window.s. So this variable, does that exist on the global or window object? And if so, what is the value going to be? So give you a moment to think about that. If you want a copy of this, the link to the starter code here is in the description down below. So grab that, give this some thought, and then try to figure out what the values for A, B, X, Y, J, K, R, and S are, both on their own and as values on the global scope. All right, so take a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So looking at this, first we have to understand the difference between these two different kinds of assignments. They look similar in that I'm declaring the variable A and then there's a comma and I'm declaring the variable B and I'm assigning one to this and one to this. On the second line, we are taking X and Y and the value two, and I'm assigning two to both X and Y. And I started the line with var, so I'm using var to declare X. The question is here, is var going to apply to Y and is var going to apply to B? And in the second function, same question, but with let. Is let going to apply to K and is let going to apply to S or is something else going to happen? So looking at these, A, X, J, and R, these ones are definitely being declared with var and with let. So for all of those, doesn't matter which one we're looking at. So if I run it with A, we get an error saying it's not defined. It's a reference error. A doesn't exist on the global scope because A was declared inside this function. The function ran, it finished running. So it doesn't exist. X, same thing. It's not going to exist. J and R are also going to give us the same thing. So I'll just put J in here. We'll run that. One time, you can see it comes up with the same error here as well. J is not defined. If we do R, we get the same thing. So we are getting that same error for all of these. Ones that were declared with let or var, doesn't matter which, they're declared inside of a function. That's the only place they're going to exist. After the function is finished running, they don't exist anywhere else. So that just leaves us with B, Y, K, and S. What is happening with those? Well, in the case of this first one with var, because there's the comma in between, both of these are going to be declared as a variable inside of the function. So the var is applying to both of them. Down here, let is applying to both of these. There's the comma in between. That means the let will be applied to all of them. So we're clear. Let's just try um, B and then we'll do K after. So with B, we get the same error. It'll say down here, B is not defined. It's a reference error. And with K, it's the same thing. It's just a variable that exists inside of the function and doesn't exist afterwards, so it's not available in the global scope. Fine. What about Y and S? Let's try that one. See what we get for Y. Two. Okay. So why are we getting two existing up on the global scope. What if I put global.y or in the browser window.y? 
too. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting a global variable. Why is this happening? That's because when you're doing these multiple assignments, the var is applying to the x, the let is applying to the r, and then this second part right here, the y and the s, there's nothing applying to that. There is no var being applied. It's not a comma between like there was here. This is JavaScript is looking at this and saying, okay, I don't have a variable y, I don't have a variable s yet. So that means to keep myself safe, I'm going to create one. I'm going to put one at the global scope because it looked inside of this context, inside the function that's currently running. Inside there, there is no y. And then it goes up to the next scope up from the function. And that is the global context. So the global calling context, there wasn't a y as well. Well, it's gone up as far as it can. So it creates the variable y at that point. And it uses var to do it. Doesn't matter if this one was done with let. This one is going to be done with var at the global level. And if var is used at the global level, it means there is a global object property created called whatever the variable is. So global.s, that will come up as 2. There we go. So y and s, both of those are created as variables on the global object. So var is used at the global scope and the global scope is also given a property. So the global object or the window object, they're given a property called y or s. And then this two is assigned to both the global s and the local r. So we're getting nothing for r, but we are getting something for s because it was just created for us on the global scope. And that's it. That's how scoping works with multiple assignments, these chained assignments or multiple declarations with the comma in between. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.